In this video we're going to fully define the inverse of the function f, which has a domain of the real number system, which maps the real numbers for the rule f of x equals 2x plus 3. So step 1 when we're finding the inverse of a function is to express it as y equals the function f of x. So in this case we're going to replace f of x with y and that's going to equal 2x plus 3. Step 2 is to swap x and y to find the inverse. So when we do that we have x is equal to 2y plus 3. The third step is to solve for y. So when we do that for this equation we're going to subtract 3 from both sides as the first step and that will give us 2y is equal to x minus 3 and then when we divide by 2 and divide by 2 we find that y is equal to x on 2 minus 3 on 2. So the fourth thing that we do is to express using correct notation. So as it is an inverse function, we need to express it with a domain and with f negative 1 as the correct notation. So here we replace the y with f inverse of x and state the rule we just found which is x on 2 minus 3 on 2 and then we need to write the domain which is for x is an element of the real number set. So that there comes from the range of our original function f and because it's a straight line for all real numbers the range is also all of the real numbers. On this slide we've got f of x and f inverse of x graphed alongside each other and we can see all their x and y intercepts and the intersection between f and f inverse and that lies along the pink line y equals x and from this graph you can see that f and f inverse are just a reflection over the line y equals x and that's because to find the inverse we swapped all the x and y coordinates.